Well, welcome to this combined ValueMed UK drug testing and drug testing kit guide to completing the paperwork that accompanies the back to lab or GCMS laboratory confirmation, both saliva and urine tests sold through UK drug testing. Now these are supplied and supported through Matrix Diagnostics. That's the laboratory service that these are going back to. This is the standard collection kit. We are not going to run through that. This video is concentrating on completing this form, which is the important uh, chain of custody form for drug analysis that must accompany your sample. Now we're going to run over the key elements of this that you must fill in and certain elements that you do not have to if they are not appropriate. But the first thing is you've got your uh, customer code here and the customer telephone number, which is our customer contact number for Access Diagnostics, which is the parent company of UK Drug Testing, Drug Testing Kit and ValueMed. The reason for your test, you don't have to necessarily select any of these, but if you are and it's appropriate, you must fill that in, but you can leave that blank. The collector's name and the donor's name must be filled in. If the donor is the same as the collector, then you put both as the same. But the collector's name must be filled in and the donor's name must be filled in. The donor's date of birth, the time of collection, uh, and the collection date must be filled in. Sentinel number. Now, if you are a Sentinel registered site, then you can put your Sentinel number on there. But Sentinel may not apply to everybody. So if you are not Sentinel registered, you leave your Sentinel number. The other part you don't have to fill in is the national insurance number of the donor or the collector. That can be left blank. But other ID that is freehand, you can choose in there whether you've got a reference that you want to apply to this sample when it's sent. The donor declaration regarding the medication must be filled in on every form. If no medication has been taken in the last 14 days, please write nil and sign accordingly to confirm that that is the case. Uh, so write nil there, tick the box that says nothing's been taken in the previous 14 days. Otherwise, please complete as comprehensive as you can all details of any medication that has been taken in the 14 days prior to the sample being collected. Then the donor must sign here. If an alcohol breath result is part of the test that you are doing, then please fill this part in, otherwise leave it blank. And you must, in all cases, write the drug that you want confirmation testing on here in this section. Now, you have prepaid for a single drug group to be confirmed, so a single drug test for opiates or a single drug test for cannabis. If you write multiple confirmation requests in here, we will contact you and there will be an additional charge for each additional drug confirmation that you request beyond the first confirmation test. And then the donor's consent must be signed and dated. The collecting officer's uh, declaration must be signed and dated. If the donor is the collector, then sign both parties. And on these peel off label sticks for the sample vials, these must be completed as well. They must be signed or initialed and dated on every occasion. So the key elements of that, the bits that get confusing are the Sentinel number. If you're not Sentinel registered, you don't have to fill that in. National insurance number does not have to be filled in. The reason for the test, again, can be left blank, but everything else must be completed before you send this paperwork and your sample back to the laboratory. And we emphasize this is required for the full chain of custody to be exactly that. And without key elements of information, these cannot be retrospectively applied and it can lead to the sample being rejected because it does not meet the criteria for full chain of custody. So please ensure that you follow this guidance when completing the paperwork and documentation before sending your samples back to the laboratory. Thanks for watching.